Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, The Shay Journey, with your girl Shay. Um, if you guys have not liked or subscribed to my channel, please do so, as well as like my other video, which is my prom vlog. Um, I recently have graduated, and I go to the illustrious Bennett College, whoop whoop, the all-female college in Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, and basically, I just wanted to talk about how my first semester actually went. It just ended last week. And I wanted to answer a few questions that my sisters have had for me or people that are thinking about going to Bennett College. So I think I'll jump right into the description. <clears throat> so basically, Bennett College used to be a co-ed college, but it switched over to all-female college. And it's the HBCU. Um, it is a four year and you can get it's a liberal arts college as well. I found out about Bennett because over the summer I was interning and working there, so I just applied and I got in. And it's very it's a very different experience, but also it wasn't at all what I expected it to be. Pros and cons. Um, Bennett does have a lot of traditions that you have to follow and I think that's what keeps it unique as a private institution like you can't step on the grass because shortcut there are no shortcuts in life um, and we have things like Convocatum S where you wear your all white you get inducted into the school um, you sign your name into the book where you can look back years later and be like you know I was an official Bennett Bell we have the all white breakfast there are many traditions that Bennett holds on to that I really appreciate so um, I did ask my sisters the term sisters itself is a Bennett tradition because we're all sister it's based off of sisterhood so basically I asked a few of my sisters some questions about 10 of them and then I'll answer them right now so stay tuned <clears throat> number one what is the best way to handle a roommate disagreement perfect question I actually did have two roommates this semester um, there is no bad blood between me and my roommates. Um, basically, depending on the situation, you could try to talk it out. Always speak to them before you go to a higher, a higher person that's in charge, like your RD, which is your resident director, or your RA, which is your resident. Question number two. When you make a mistake and need someone to talk to, who should you talk to? Perfect question. So, I actually heard about the Big and Little system where if you're a junior at Bennett College, you end up getting a freshman to be your little sister to where you can actually guide her and teach her the ropes of Bennett College. That way, one day when she's a junior, she will carry on the legacy. So, for me, I actually have never met my official Big. Um, I signed up for one, but we just never met, which is okay. Um, I did end up getting an unofficial Big, which is called an adopted Big. She is a sophomore, so she can't officially be my Big yet, but... She has taught me a lot, and we found that we had very similar stories, similar things that we've gone through, and she really helped me through the semester. So, um, get a big, get a friend that's not in the same classification as you, talk to an RD, talk to an RA, talk to a family member, someone that you trust. It's never okay to go through things by yourself, because you could damage yourself rather than help yourself. All right, next question. So, the third question is, where did you find the best food? Well, being that I've lived in Greensboro for almost five years, um, I basically know where all the food places are, so it wasn't really that new. But I did find out there is a company that will deliver fast food or any kind of food that you need at any time of the day. All you gotta do is pay a small delivery fee, they will pick it up. It doesn't matter what kind of fast food, whatever. If they don't deliver, they will deliver it for you, this company. Check them out. Hit me up so you can get the name, because you know. <laughs> okay, question number four. Did you get along with your dorm mates? O-M-G. So, I live in Barge Hall, Cary Barge Hall, um, on Bennett's campus. It's actually ranked third out of the three dorm halls that are open. Honors, players, and then Barge. So, we had a lot to compete with, but yes, I did get along with my dorm mates. Um... We didn't always get along because once again we're girls and we're young so our personalities are going to clash. Like at the beginning we did not necessarily click together at once but we separately clicked. But now as a unit we could just chill. Hey do you have noodles? Hey you got some, a hot pocket I can borrow? You guys want to go downstairs and watch a movie? Hey we're doing this. Do you guys want to go out together? Um, 
large beauty center of what we're called. So yeah, we kind of built our own sisterhood within our dorm hall because it's so small. You can literally see your friend at the other end of the hallway. You know everybody on first name basis, nickname basis. All the RAs are in our RD. We all got along, you know, and if we didn't, we dealt with each other because at the end of the day, we're home. Whether we want to make it home or not, we're here until the semester's over. Um, I did make a lot of good relationships with other people other than my roommates. Um, my roommate. Um, yeah, sisterhood is real. Just recently, we had a full week of bonding movies. We had snowball fights. We even played tag, you know. We went out to Halloween together. It was about six of us, and we all went out to this big place, and we all got in together. Um, people are actually shocked that you can find, you can find sisterhood if you look for it. But also, I get along with people that live in player and honors. I started to branch out. Um, yeah, I start to branch out. I've met a lot of cool people, off-campus people, but to answer that specific question, yes, did get along with my doormates. Um, the living conditions. Well, like I said, I live in Barge Hall, so... If we're just being real, it is the third. There are there are little things that could be tweaked in barge, but I'm not about to diss my dorm hall. So Bennett knows what it has to do, and I'm not gonna come from my HBCU. So what has to be done will be done. I hope. So I'm gonna say about that. Activities done on campus. Well, at first when I started Bennett College, I did not think there were any on campus activities it seemed like it was boring every weekend so I would just pack up and come home because you know I live kind of close so bye but as I started to stay on campus and actually look and find different activities and organizations I did um, join an organization Divine Unity it is a community service type organization I did actually do the pageant to be in Little Miss Divine Unity I um I was the first runner up and it was a very cool experience because I'd never done a pageant before and it was it was very fun it was very stressful because you have to keep your grades up but overall that was fun and it it linked it linked me to other people because then I ended up singing in a sorority pageant for there to be a mister you know for a certain organization at my school um, that was very exciting and it inspired me to want to do more on my campus we has we have seven paints um, when it's freshman week, sophomore week, junior week, whatever, senior week, um, there are different events that our SGA, our student government, puts together so we can actually enjoy our time on campus. Some people never know when to actually find out when these events are happening or when they are going to happen. And for me, I'm just like, we get bell mail, which is um, our school linked email and sometimes they're in there they're always posters or papers linked up or just word of mouth so check your friends social media check the calf check the boards check your dorm hall you can really find any events if you really want to go to a Bennett event i say go because somehow come to me okay <clears throat> number seven do you think your child could go to Bennett college Ooh, that's a good one do I think my daughter, because it's not co-ed yet, yet. Do I think my daughter could go to Bennett College? I mean, first, I'm not going to force my daughter to go to an institution that I went to, because I know some people that are like, oh, my mom went, so I'm going to go, or my mom or grandma were Belle, so I have to be a Belle. If my daughter doesn't want to go to HBCU, or she wants to go to a PWI, or she just wants to study abroad, what if she, you know, it's all up to her. I would love for her to go to Bennett, because it's not a bad experience, but at the same time, I know what, what Bennett isn't hasn't done in my life and what Bennett has done so therefore I would give her the pros and cons and accept whatever decision she would make honest best policy number eight hmm. should it stay in all girls school should Bennett College stay in all girls school if you're looking at it financially no I think that Bennett College should be co-ed and I don't know if they have this under wraps or something but that would be a good good investment but from a traditional standpoint, I don't think so. Because Bennett stands on sisterhood, not brother and sisterhood. Um, it's globally known as an all-girls school. So the first male to walk into Bennett College's campus will be making history. Um, I think 
it would take away the complexity of the college if it becomes a all, I mean, a co-ed, because it'll just be like every other college out there. Um, so yeah, to me, I think Bennett should just stay an all-girls school, but financially could become co-ed, if that makes sense. Um, number nine. Negative or positive vibes? Well, <laughs> I actually had the person elaborate a little bit on her question so I know where she's coming from. So basically, she was asking, when you pull up to Bennett campus and you're about to get out the car, do you get a negative vibe or a positive vibe? Um, when I went through my situation this semester, because everybody has probably gone through something drastic this semester because we had grown up to do. So when I would leave and come home from the weekend because I would always be at home I would get like a negative vibe like oh I don't want to be here just don't want to be here just hate it here why do I have to pull up and pretend like I'm okay when I'm not but now that I've actually branched out and I've got new friends and I've got new experiences and I hang out with upperclassmen underclassmen everyone and I really embrace Bennett for what it is I get positive vibes everywhere I go hey Shay hey hey boo how you doing hey sis da 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 Rather, at first, it was just like, I'm just here. I'm just the number. When you decide not to be a Bennett student, you become a Bennett Bell or try to mold yourself into a Bennett Bell, then you start getting different experiences and different vibes. Like I said, that's just from my point of view. Many people could have many different answers to all of these questions. So, now that the questions are, are out of the way, um... I just have short little segments of different things that I've thought about and I wrote them down. So classes, my classes felt like high school. They weren't too hard. Um, I think I left with a good GPA. Um, nothing to be ashamed of. I will be able to return to Bennett next semester, but I will work harder because now I know what to expect. Um, my dorm hall, like I said, I live in Barge Hall. Um, we are the underdogs, I believe. From my point of view, like I've heard some rumors about Barge Hall that's not even true, but you know, it's all about what you, what you think, you know? I love my dorm hall. I love my Bennett beauties, my Barge beauties, my everything beauties, yeah. Because Barge is homey to me. You can catch one of your sisters chilling in the parlor watching TV. Hey, what are you watching? Next thing you know, okay, I'm about to get some snacks. I'm about to watch. And then, hey, are you going to come watch movies with us? Hey, are you going to watch TV with us? Next thing you know, you have all of Barge just sitting on a couch laughing, watching TV, watching scary movies, just chilling. You know, we don't spend much of our time arguing anymore. That's that's the first week. You don't know each other, so you, you're you trying to figure everyone out. But now, I think we have a good sense of who everyone is, so it's just... You leave, okay, be safe, text me, coming back, hey, how you doing? Typical day. Roommate situation, like I said, um, you don't get to choose your roommate until, I think there are stipulations to choosing your roommate, but I didn't get to choose neither of my roommates, and not everyone lost their roommate. I know some roommates that are really good friends. They still live together. They never had an argument or disagreement, nothing. So it can it can be possible. Don't just let one experience from my point of view where I lost a roommate to where, you know, you don't think, oh, I shouldn't get a roommate. No, because that's really good sisterhood right in your own home. You guys live together. How closer can you guys be? Um, old friends. Old friends and new friends. Well, I did start out with a different group of people um, that I finished with. And it was all about personalities. You know, you, you start to find out who you are, and then that determines who you'll end up hanging with. So, my circle started out really big at the beginning, because I we all just thought, oh, we're in college and sisterhood forever. That's not the case. When you actually go through something with someone... And you're like, yeah, that's my sis. That's my friend. And we're still learning because you never know the friends that you have now if they're going to be here next year or the years to come. But right now, I have stable friendships. I have, I can call my sisters right now. My girls are now, hey, how are y'all? Y'all good? Come through, you know. Um, but you had to, I had to go through something in order to get to the place that I am. Because I was at a point where I pushed everyone away. I was like, mm -mm, that friend word, that doesn't work for me. Nobody's here for you. 
but the friends that I have now, we're here for each other financially, emotionally, mentally, academically, you know, it's support is the main thing to get through college. Um, A and T. <laughs> if some of you don't know, A and T is literally across the tracks, like some train tracks separate A and T and Bennett College. So yeah, it's pretty common for you to go over there, especially with an all girls school. You know, there's a co-ed right there, down the, over yonder. Um, I did go to A and T. Me and my old friends, we went to A and T every Thursday, faithfully. But as of now, I do not go to A&T. A&T is a fun college, you know, events, G-Ho, all of that. Um, explore. There are many, Greensboro's a really, coll- is that even a word? Collegiate? <laughs> Collegetic? I <laughs> don't know if those are words. But yeah, there are a lot of colleges out here. So, branch out. Auntie's cool. You meet a lot of, I know a lot of people over there that I graduated with that go, and I met some people. I met some girls at Auntie from Walmart. Just going on a Walmart bus trip, found some brands there. So, yeah. Auntie's cool. Branch out. Head over to one HBCU to another, you know? Food. The calf. Mmm. The calf. Okay. The calf was a very good, like, you go from high school food, and if you never experienced school food, you, bruh, I know there were times that I just skipped lunch in high school because I just couldn't do it. I got to Benny, I was like, oh my gosh, you get endless burgers, endless curly fries, there's a sandwich bar, there's a pizza bar, cake, fried chicken Wednesday, fried chicken Wednesday with the greens. I get two thighs, macaroni, greens, cornbread. I'm sorry. It's just so good. It's just so good. But anyways, um, the company that makes our food, I'm pretty certain, uses a lot of fiber in the food. So it does kind of get a little, it's like a, like a really good curse. Cause you tear up so much of that food and then you walking out the calf and your stomach begins to rumble so it's always good to have snacks because the calf closes at about for dinner yeah i think it's from 4 30 until 6 30 for dinner i don't know who i don't know who eats at 4 30 who eats dinner at 4 30 but that's the hours so always keep noodles hot pockets chips gummy snacks whatever Ask your sister if she got something. You know, at the end of the day, we're all sisters, right? Um, the staff. I met some really amazing staff this semester. I love my RD. Like, Barge's RD is amazing. She, shout out to you. She really, whew, she's been there. My RAs definitely have been there. Um, I know they fought hard. My teachers, they've been there for me. I haven't met a staff member where I'm like, oh, oh, uh uh-uh, no, no, uh, the assignments, the assignments are easy, like, it's nothing like, OMG, I have to study, I have to look, search, search, no, they're not, they're easy in the sense of you can understand them, it's just, if you don't go to class and you got a paper that you have to start that day and you don't stay on track, you're going to be messed up because... For me, whew, I had paper after paper after paper for my literature class. And it, it took a toll on me. I'm staying up, my hair sticking up, I'm crying like, oh, Lord, can I just leave this computer lab and it's 3 a.m. But you got to, you want this degree, you got to keep trucking, baby. Um, Mistakes. I have made numerous mistakes this semester. I mean, I'm only young. What am I going to do? You know? Um... Growing up in a household where it was restricted for a good reason, like they're trying to help you, they're trying to cover you, um, and then being able to leave it to where there's nobody. Like, you go out on your own volition. At first, you're like, yes, this is so fun. I can do what I want. And eventually, you're over it because you still end up doing what you do at home. Sit in your room, sit in the dorm, go to class. It gets old. The college, woohoo gets old you get over it 
just becomes life. Life hits you hard when you're trying to put two and two together to get some shmoney. It gets hard. So, yeah, mistakes are bound to happen. Embrace your mistakes. Learn from your mistakes. But don't continue to make mistakes. Or at least the same mistake. Like, if you know it didn't work the first time or even the second time, don't try it a third time because that's going to be the worst time. Just let it go. Um, Adventures. I have been on numerous adventures. Um, me and my friends, one time, a little story time. We actually had a school gym jam. Um, and we were like, okay, you know, it was over. We were like, we're hungry. So we're going to go to eat at like a... A restaurant or whatever, a pancake restaurant. It's early in the morning. So things happen and it ends up being a wild, wild adventure. But that's another vlog for another time. Um, that many adventures. Small adventures, just walking around Bennett campus, big adventures. That's a separate vlog because I definitely want to tell y'all about that story. Um, lastly, tattoos. This was a weird one. But yeah, I actually do have a tattoo. It's right here and it means faith forever. At least that's what it means to me. Um, overall, my semester has been crazy. But one thing that I took from it was learn from your mistakes. Get up. You may get knocked down because you do get depressed sometimes. I'm not even going to hold it to you. You get depressed and you feel like, why am I doing this? Pull yourself together. If you feel like there's nothing for you to do on campus, make something. Build an organization. Get all your information together and take it to somebody who's in charge of said organizations on campus. You can get involved if you want to get involved. And it's best because it keeps you focused. It keeps your grades up. It keeps your mind focused. And it keeps you on track. Um, doing that pageant was very, very fun for me and very different because it got me on my comfort zone. And singing, doing all these different things. I'm embracing Bennett College for what it is. I'm not sure how long I'm going to go here. But for the time being, I'm a Bennett Bell. And we do it well. See you in the next video. Thank you guys. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And watch my other video, like I said before. Because you know, why not? And watch this one. And comment on this one. And if you guys have more questions, just leave a comment below. Because you never know. And see you guys in the spring semester. Okay?